Hey, what's up? It's Quay, the High TV, and I am here with the Superhuman, hey. the Beat Wiz, <laughs> Business Boy, and we're here at Layla's in New York City. Welcome to New York. Hey, thanks for having me. Yes, I'm glad you're here to with me. I've been familiar with you for the past this year, pretty yeah. much. Um, and you, aside from like what you create as a producer and like your artistry, I think you are a person who truly lives by what you preach. And I think you on Instagram, with your Insta stories, your tweets, you constantly are pushing out like positive messages yeah. and positive light. Yeah. Um, can you pretty much elaborate on like your foundation of you and how you got here? And I come from like a rough background uh, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin and it's just a lot of negativity going on. So I was a product of my environment. I was around from Milwaukee. But once I moved to Atlanta and I was on my own, that's when I started like reading like more and more, picking up books and then watching documentaries, just everything, just opening up my mind, you know? And then from then I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta be a great person. I gotta be this great person that lead by example. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A lot of people don't come out of there. So yeah, it was just, I just wanted to be a positive person just because I was a negative person. Mm -hmm. like, uh, and you, you know, a lot of people, if you're negative, you don't really get too far. Right. You, know? you burn bridges, relationships out the window, everything. So I just wanted to make sure my quality of life was what it's supposed to be, you know, and help out. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. That is. And obviously you change your mind and you change your life yeah. with that. Um, uh, talk about some of the uh, people you've worked with because obviously if you're, if you're exuding this type of energy, mm -hmm. you're getting blessed back and yeah, you can yeah. say that you're, you're blessed. And so what are the who are the other types of people that you've attracted um, that have uh, changed your work? I work with Party Next Door closely. Uh, I did four tracks on his album, P3, and ever since then, he just been helping me like like any opportunities he got because he write a lot for like people in the in the game so i work on his stuff and he be like yo i'm in here with so and so send me some beats i need to write some some hits for him and then the party changed my life it was uh it was a time where it was like my lowest moment probably like early last year and you know i was homeless me and my homies and we were just like trapping in the car like so we were just, we were still, it was crazy because we were homeless. We was homeless, but we had each other, though. So it was kind of cool. Like, okay, I got your back. We got each other back. We're going to pull up over to this session. We were still grinding, just still doing what we had to do. And then party next door, like, it was one day he just hit me like, yo, let's really go in. And then we did Cuff Though with Quavo, Don't Do It For You No More. And then Don't Know How was like the third single on P3. And from then, like stuff, like all labels, A and R's, everybody started hitting me up, like, "Yo, Biz, we gotta get you in the studio. Like, let's work." And then started working with Black afterwards, mm -hmm. and we did uh, Free Black. We did this song called "Into You Make and It For the Kid." And I'm because you love us Black guy. So it was like my name being yeah. on Tester Party, then Black, his first project. And then K4, J. Ali, of course, uh, I work close with him. And just all these different artists reaching out. Can you describe your, like, your sound from your perspective? Mm -hmm. Like, when you're creating beats, like, is there a sound that you typically typically go for? Uh, I say it's, my main sound is R&B, but I do pop too, trap, hip-hop, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, everybody come for the R&B mostly. Mm -hmm. So it's... <laughs> Yeah, so right now we switching it up too, so be prepared for that. Yeah. Switched it up. Yeah, we gonna switch it up. You'll see. Okay. Yeah, for the year, and we got, got some surprises coming. You always got some surprises. I go to <laughs> your Instagram because you constantly, like you said, consistency, and that's mm -hmm. I think you definitely do that um, with you know your spirituality mm -hmm. and your work because there's artists I've never even heard of, and obviously you're working with mm -hmm. these artists um, right at the beginning of their careers. Yeah. Um, and you like you promote them I'm like oh who is this and it's usually fi it's fire it's like it's fire <laughs> yeah. um so how do you go about with finding uh your the artists uh, you work with or do I, you just find you most don't find me but i also be on the lookout too and uh 
like people they hit me and I listen to it. Like I'm not I'm not that type of person just to skim over people. I actually like listen to it. Mm-hmm. Just to it be some gems out there. So yeah. I listen to them. I'm like, yo, like this is fire, like take my number down or whatever it may be, hit me up and then we just start like the convos, like, yo, we gotta really build and um yeah, that's how I really do it. And then my manager James Supreme, he he has the ear too. Mm-hmm. So he has sent me stuff like, yo, you rock with this? I'm like, yo, yo, I rock with that. And yeah, it's just crazy. Just I look at I look at like Timberland, Pharrell, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, mm-hmm. uh, Teddy Riley. Mm-hmm. Every one of those producers had like artists attached to them. You think about Timberland, you gonna think about uh, Missy Elliott, you know what I'm saying, Justin Timberlake or Aaliyah, you know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And Teddy Riley guy and this, you know, Black Street. Yes. So it's like, as a producer, if you want longevity, mm-hmm. you have to like get artists, you know, put your sound behind them and really support them from like the ground up. Like that's the wave though. That is. Cause I, I work with big artists, but like I have to work with up and coming artists. Yes it is. What's your, aside from um, party, what is your favorite project or piece that you've worked on? Um, I'm gonna say this year. This year, mm-hmm. it can be a song too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Xavier Omar, Afraid. Yes. Yeah. That was people good. really. I still play that. People really love that. That was so organic. Uh, Red Bull. Xavier hit me up prior, and he was like, "Yo, I want to work with you, Biz, but it, it has to be right. So I'm not gonna come to you like unless it's right." So like probably a month or two later, he hit me like, "Yo, Red Bull." Uh, said I can do the, the song and they going back, you know what I'm saying? They're mm-hmm. going back up and they're going to pay you and everything. So I was like, oh, <laughs> fine. You know what I'm I want to work with you anyways. Yeah. Like, so we pulled up uh, to Red Bull Studios in, what was it, Santa Monica, California. Mm-hmm. Pulled up, we talked, we chopped it up, had real conversations. And, and from then, like, turned the computer on. And then play some chords, the chords you hear in the beginning, and then just start building like the beats behind it, the bass and everything. And it was real organic. Cause he told me the story, like, yo, I'm afraid and this and that. I was like, okay, okay. He started writing and then he went in the booth and just killed it. And then yeah. Now it's out right now, so that's that's one of my favorites. Uh A Child, Matrix. That's like a, that's a crazy song. What's your perspective on the music industry right now as a producer? I love it. It's just so many creative artists right now. So you can you can really like it's like R and B came back. So you got like the vintage sound of R and B that's like modern. And then you got like the dark and then you got the feel good, the up tempos. Mm-hmm. There's so much music and then the rap. Like you got the, the trap music and then you got the hip hop still prospering it's just all type of like sounds right now and then you got people meshing sounds together and it's up to you to pick and choose what you want like it's a lot of like garbage you know that will come out you know it's always but it's always been like that though yeah Yeah, it's always been like that even in the golden era in the 90s Mm -hmm. but like you pick and choose you know get on your phone you choose what you want to listen to but it's so many dope artists coming out yes and it's crazy like i'm loving the industry right now Mm -hmm. just as a creator and just connecting the dots with all these new artists, he's talented, writing, mm-hmm. writing dope lyrics and melodies and. Uh, what are you listening to? <sighs> party, Aside from you, because you're everywhere. Party, Baka, uh, live yeah. up to my name. Every time I come on, I, everybody around me like, oh, this big song. They, <laughs> I'm finna turn up when Baka come on. Uh, Cardi B, congrats to her. Yes, congratulations. Man, go oh, crazy. It does. And that, that Baca, I, I first heard the Baca, uh, my manager put me on. He was like, you heard the Baca? I was like, no, put I haven't me heard on. the Baca either. I'm and then I seen it in person uh, at OVO Fest. I'm like, oh, this is my song now. <laughs> so one time, I played it so much, it's crazy. Like, I came back from a show, and it was like Orange County to LA. Mm-hmm. So it was like an hour and 20. Yeah. The whole time, Baca, like, live up to my name. The whole drive back to the crib, I'm just geeked up, like, in the car. 
like it's new. I'm like, yeah. I'm about to play it after this. I haven't heard it. Yeah. So like we said, you're like the super producer right now. You work with you work with a lot of artists, mm -hmm. um, some that you you know you dreamed of working with. Yeah. Who who's on your radar right now? Um, Daniel Caesar. Yes. On my radar. Oh yes, uh, Biz and Daniel. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gotta happen soon. He's on my radar. Uh, this is new artist named Emmy. She's from Seattle. Mm -hmm. uh, She's, oh, Northwest. She's crazy, like crazy. Like, mm -hmm. We got some stuff dropping soon. We got her single, so we're gonna drop that. It's just her sound is like real crazy. Like, the way she writes, it's our alternative rap, but her beats are hard. I give her hard beats. So imagine these melodies, crazy melodies, or the like hard beats, you know what I'm saying, with melodic stuff. Like. We'll leave us off with just you know some some words uh some uplifting words like i said i go to his instagram every day so what's the what's the book you always uh post? 365 days of richard living literally every day i look forward to that so i thank you for that like oh, in the morning yeah. sometimes you forget but you like it's never too late I'm like, yes. oh yeah yeah it'd be them busy days i'm like yo i can't because people really look forward to that every day yeah. it's at least like 10 people like yo what book is this or like this came right on time or yo this this made my day because people we all go through stuff we do so like god is number one in my life so i figure we all here to you know make them happy mm -hmm. and then we we here to help each other too yeah. like in today's world some people forget about that so i'm here to inspire and tell people they can do what they want you know it might take a minute yeah. and it's it's no it's no rush because mm -hmm. it took me a minute to get to where i'm at i went through plenty of stuff mm -hmm. like homeless um crib to crib couch to couch floor to floor five dollars in my pocket eating canned corn got to heat that up save some of that for later like it's a real journey but the mind is powerful so if you believe in yourself and have faith and you believe in god and you're just working hard consistent persistent whatever you're gonna make it mm -hmm. like in whatever you do you mowing grass yep. 20 years you're gonna be the best more you know <laughs> on the planet the you know what i'm something. saying you're gonna own the yeah. company and it's just gonna keep improving like anything you want to do like you can really do it like i seen it like just coming up from from being local mm -hmm. to like being where i'm at right now and it's still room for improvement like how i work I'm never satisfied. I'm satisfied, but yeah. I'm never satisfied. Never like I want, yeah, I, I want more. That's mm -hmm. why I'm in the studio every day. People see me online, like, he's always in the studio. Every day. Every day. Every day. Like, I just want to see how far I can take it. Mm -hmm. And then I got my grandma and my grandfather, you know, they took care of me. So I'm just pushing so they can live the rest of their lives. They can live a quality life. Mm -hmm. My parents, quality life, everybody in just build up this empire, all this wealth and abundance so I can start spreading it out. You know what I'm saying? I might have a cousin or an mm -hmm. old friend like, yo, I'm about to open this business. Mm -hmm. You need help or I'm, I'm gonna get you off your feet. Boom, manage this. And then, you know, somebody trustworthy. You don't, yes. you know, you don't wanna, you can't give it to you. anybody. But yeah, that's that's my whole mindset. Just mm -hmm. to, I love helping people. Like I, I be having my opportunities and if it's, if it's somebody I can hit, mm -hmm. like a songwriter, like bro, I got, I got this pull up to the studio or you know so that's that's my whole thing i just love seeing people win um that crab in the barrel mentality is that's that's, that's dead. yeah it's dead mm -hmm. so like me shining somebody else's light ain't gonna dim mine so that's what people yes. that's what a lot of people really think yeah you know what I'm once, once you because i i had that at, at like a young age because it's like when you broke it's like why would I? I'm trying to help myself get some money. Why would I help them? But mm -hmm. I grew out of it. I'm like, yo, if I help this person, a lot of people scared that the person they helping probably gonna surpass outshine them. them. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you gotta think if they surpass you and y'all still cool. Once they get they to the yeah, them. once they on that level, they gonna pull you with them. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, bro, I got this opportunity. Boom, I'm trying to get a hundred G's in your pocket or whatever mm -hmm. it may be. Like, so people, that's why a lot of people don't help people. I think you know because they don't want people to surpass them, but. That mindset is dead. Yeah, you know it's dead. So. Thank you for being here, sitting and talking to me. Yeah. I, I'm glad you said everything you said. Uh, 
and I hope you guys take a lot from him. He's an amazing human being. It. And he's, this is still the beginning. You have a long way to go. It's still the beginning. Yeah. I'm excited too.